Oh, my brave knight. What a good show that was. You slayed that beast without any problem. That monster has lived down here for centuries. And you will be the one to tell the tale of its end. Ah, oh, you fought well, dear husband. And I protected you, of course. In case in your body, in my impenetrable armor. Ah, oh, what a good team we do make. I think you are going to turn out to be a very good husband indeed. But now, my love, it is time for you to enjoy the splendor and riches that reward your bravery in slaying the beast. Look at this mountain of treasure. You may take from it all that you wish, now that that terrible beast no longer guards it. <sighs> oh my, those jewels are pretty. Beautiful diamond rings. And neck pieces. Decorated in twisting gold. <sighs> Not that I have much use for those things. Oh. Ah, what is that? Ah. Look at that sword. Oh my dear, I've never seen anything like it. Not a speck of dust on it either. Look how it glistens and glimmers in the light. That is the blade of a true warrior indeed. What better man to wield it than you? Go on, pick it up. It will do you well. <laughs> First a new living armor wife, and now a magnificent sword to go along with. You have had good luck. Down here in this dungeon, my love. Go on, brandish that sword. Pick it up. It is so beautiful, and would look even better yet, slaying your enemies, my love. Pick it up, go on. Uh, oh, oh my. My love, what's happening? The sword... It's glowing. Swords don't usually do that, do they? Oh, what magic and trickery is this? It has been so long since anyone has picked me up. Oh. oh, it feels so good to stretch. <laughs> oh, well, hello there, handsome. Lucky little me having a big, brave warrior like you show up and pick me up. <laughs> Are you in the habit of picking girls up in dungeons? <laughs> what on earth is this? That is no sword. Put her down now, my love. You have no need of that. Oh, and where's that voice coming from? <gasps> no way. Is that living armor? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen one of you in so many years. <gasps> Wow. <laughs> you must be a real big bad brute if you strapped an armor girl onto you on the way. What? You just picked her up now in this dungeon. Oh, I must have been lying here longer than I thought if it was long enough for a living armor girl to get created. <laughs> Mm. Well, Master, I hope that she and I can get along. Because, <laughs> well, 
You're gonna be stuck with me, sweetie. No, no, no. You put that sword down right now. We don't need her. She might be a beautiful weapon, but you've no need of that sort of influence. Be on your way now, Floozy. We've no need of you. No can do, unfortunately, sweet clinks. Once your big brave knight here picked me up, he and I got bound forever. And he's my master now. So I have to be a good little blade and serve him until the end of his days. And though I suppose if he's got a living armor girl wrapped around him, then he's not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> no, no, no. He is my husband. I have claimed him already, and he has accepted my offer. I have melded to his body and his shape, and I will be with him until the day that he dies, and join him even after that in his grave. We have no use for a third wheel in this relationship. Oh, don't be jealous. I mean, look at him. There's more than enough of him to go around. I'm sure we can share him. After all, he's got two good hands. He can wield me in one and do whatever he wants with you in the other. <laughs> what do you say, sweetheart? Not that we have much choice. A big, strong thing like you needs a good sword. And I'm more than happy to let you swing me around. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't agree. And doesn't think so. Isn't that right, dear? Dear? Oh, yeah, you can feel it now, can't you? My essence seeping in through your body. My power, as our connection begins to grow. <laughs> you and me, big boy, we're bound for life now. You are my big brave knight, and I will be your trusty blade until the end of your days. Feel as I meld into your hand and take on the perfect shape just for you to hold me. <sighs> In your big, strong hands. <sighs> Looks like you've got your hands full now. <laughs> but I do have to warn you, I can be a bit of a handful. <laughs> no, stop that. Leave him alone. How can you even connect with him if I've already melded with his body? This should be against the rules or something. He can't have a living armor wife as well as a cursed sword wife at the same time. This is ridiculous. Stop it. My dear, put her down now. Maybe if you put her down, this will all stop, and she'll go back into her sword form. What? What do you mean you can't put her down? You can't? You can't or you won't? I don't want to have to share you with this thing. Put her down now. Oh, oh my... Mm. Even my gauntlet has started to meld to her. Oh no. Oh, I fear the three of us may have formed an unbreakable connection of some sort. This is quite uh, unprecedented. I don't think a man's ever owned a living armor set and... A cursed sword at the same time. And it appears that her binding is 
happening to both of us, since our bodies are melded together as well. Oh, no. What a terrible threesome this is. I didn't sign up for a polyamorous relationship. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I don't really want to be pushed into it. Oh, relax, sweetie. You'll be alright. You just have to get used to it, you know? I mean, after all, he's our master and big brave knight. And a warrior like that needs good armor as well as a good sword. Don't you think so, honey? <laughs> well, I suppose so. <sighs> but you better do your best at killing all of his enemies. If you let something happen to him, I will never forgive you. Do you hear me? If you fail to strike them down, I will come out of this armor myself and I will dull your blade. Do you hear me? All right, all right. But you better do your job too and protect him. Mark my words, if I ever see a single scratch on his skin, I am going to smelt you down and turn you into a saucepan. You hear me? <laughs> Please. My armor is impenetrable. I would never let anything happen to him. Well, good. And just so you know, any warrior that wields me will always slay his foe in battle. So don't you worry about me failing to not kill his enemies. Okay? You better watch yourself, armor. <sighs> and by the way, you really need to be polished. <laughs> he must not care so much about you if he doesn't even polish and shine you. I mean, look at me. I haven't even got a speck of dust on me. And I've been down here for centuries. And what, he's already been wearing you and he hasn't even dusted you off yet? Hmm. You should learn to take better care of yourself. Uh, I will have you know that he picked me up down here just yesterday, and we've been having a grand adventure since. And I protected him from this great mighty beast that no one else has managed to kill in centuries. I may be dirty and a bit dusty and even covered in a terrible monster's blood, but looks aren't everything. Ugh, you're so vain. Besides, I'm sure he meant to polish me as soon as we were out of the dungeon and he could take me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep telling yourself that. I've been down here for many years and I kept myself nice and shiny and beautiful. <laughs> it's a wonder you even attracted him looking like that. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that looks are not everything. <sighs> My love, I'm not sure about this. Do we really have to bring her with us? Well, we're bound for life, remember? So, um, yeah, you do. And besides, look at me. Having such a fine, beautiful sword accompany him around everywhere for the rest of his life. <laughs> One man would complain about that. Right, sweetie? Why are you looking at her like that? Avert your eyes. She's indecent. Let's get out of here. I'm sick of this dungeon. You said you were staying in a tavern not far from here, no? Let's get back there. And maybe we can find this thing a sheath to cover herself with. <sighs> Just my luck. A cursed sword girl. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter, Clinks? I can tell you and I and him are going to have a real fun time together. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to this tavern you mentioned. I can't wait to feel the warmth of a real bed again. Oh, it has been centuries. <laughs>